Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I am going to break down all the basic button layouts for the T-Flight Hot Ass 1 flight stick and more specifically, how to use it with Star Wars Squadron, a very amazing game that goes very much along with this flight stick. I'm going to go over the entire control panel basics, combat button layout, and maneuvers buttons layout. I highly recommend that you grab a notepad for this one. And also, skip the 10 second skips so you don't miss any information in this video. And remember, if this video adds value to you and your gameplay, subscribe with the notifications on and remember to smack the like button so you can revisit this video at any time from your library. Let's begin by understanding the basics of the control panel. This control panel is engineered in such a way that anybody can understand it. That's right, it's color coded. The color blue relates to the engine, the color green relates to your shield, and the color red is responsible for your firepower. Combat is the main goal in squadron. So let's break it down so you can boost your KD ratio. To fire your blasters, use the trigger on the flight stick. Rockets auto lock. Once you're locked into a target, use the B2, or if you want to call it the number four button to fire the rockets. You can boost the damage of your blasters and rockets by pressing up on your targeting button to switch the red lights on and deal more damage per hit. If you need to switch targets, we can accomplish that by pressing X or the number Number five, if you have taken damage, you can activate your R2 unit to deploy repairs with the B1 or 3 button. When being targeted by missiles, you can deploy flares with the A or 6 button. And finally, hold B or 7 to open the shield options and use the targeting button to select a balance all around shield. Focus your shields in the back by pressing down twice on the targeting button or if you're taking damage from the front we can focus the shields on the front by pressing twice up on the targeting button to focus the shields in the front section of your ship you can also focus your ship's power to the shields by pressing right on the targeting button all by itself or you can maintain a balanced ship by pressing down on the targeting button and your ship will keep a good balance between speed for the engine for your shields and for your weapon damage. If we hold the Y or 8 button and use the targeting button, we can access the emote wheel. If you hold the B4 button or 10 in the back of the thruster, you will open an action wheel and you can use the targeting button to select an action. After engaging in combat, you have a few options. You can continue to focus on your shields or you can use your engine power and boost to get away. You have to gauge every situation individually and make the best decision with the information you have. To switch the main ship's power to the engine, press right on the targeting button. This will boost your average speed. If you took some damage while you're getting away, remember to repair your ship by pressing B1 and telling your R2 unit to do his job. If you need to make a quick getaway, tap the B3 or 9 button to activate a short burst that can double the speed of your ship for a short period of time. Although the physical thruster on your flight stick has no real use, you can still rotate your ship around to the right or the left with the two bigger buttons on the back of the flight stick. The stick itself is very self-explanatory. Right, left, up, down. You can rotate around so you can look around and readjust your targets. I will be adding more advanced guides that will show you how to efficiently implement all of these tools and skills available to you that will ultimately make you a force to be reckoned with in the universe of Star Wars. Remember to subscribe with the notifications on to catch more fun content as we explore more games that we can use with the flight stick. There will be more guides and live streams. So smack the like button and comment down below what's your favorite game to play with the flight stick. Catch you later.